Happy birthday, Fruit Ninja! Happy birthday, Happy Fruit Ninja! Birthday. Happy birthday! Originally, it was made just with a little prototype with the two designers, Luke Muscat and Joe Gatling. There was the brief for that kind of round of, of prototypes was uh, make a single screen touch screen game that your mum could play. It got sent around to the company and the first thing that we noticed was no work was getting done. We were all playing the game and people were just constantly emailing everybody the new um, high scores. So that was a big indicator that we had something. Fruit Ninja is an awesome game. It's probably what got me into mobile gaming as well. It's what brought me to this company. Yeah, Apple App Store was the perfect place to try that because it was mostly, at the time, it was just kind of this wild west. People were trying to understand what to make for it. Really prime for someone to come in there and put out something simple, fun, polished, addictive. Fruit Ninja is awesome and it's a great privilege to work at Half Rick, so. Yeah, like happy fifth yeah. anniversary. Yeah, happy fifth anniversary. Yeah. Happy birthday! Yeah. Before we started, we were given an artist test, concept art test, and yeah, that's pretty much where I came up with the students originally. Katsura, the uh, spiky haired green guy, is based off a of pineapple. Then there's the small under kid, his uh, Nobu is based off a of watermelon. You got Mari, she's a more strawberry themed ninja. Bob came up with a design for Han. And then there's the villain character that was revealed yes. and put into the new Fruit Ninja awesome. game. He's the bomb ninja pretty much. He's the one that throws it at you. For Fruit Ninja, yeah, all the sounds and music for the first couple of versions, um, I did that from writing the music, uh, composing it, playing it, and uh, to uh, doing all the sound effects and the mix and uh, making sure everything fit in there. What it was for Fruit Ninja was taking sounds from sound libraries and uh, combining them and running effects on them. Um, it was interesting, the actual sound of doing things like uh, Chopping a pineapple, for example. You can record the sound of chopping a pineapple, but it doesn't seem to work for some reason. You've got to add in things like banging something against a table or a little bit of a drum or, um, or breaking something in half in order to get the sound that seems to work for fitting in. I think there were some comments that I had from, from people saying that they that it's in their family, so their, their grandparents play it because it's a game they can play, and it's actually bridged generation gaps. And this is a parent that's commenting to me, and he goes, I give it to my kids, and you know, my cousins play it. And it's interesting because they, they share that on their leaderboards as too, they share their scores and stuff like that. So the one thing about, I think, Fruit Ninja that I can say is that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's fairly ingrained in the fans. And uh, when you do implement something new to the game, they notice it straight away. My favourite fruit is the pomegranate because I love just being able to smash that up in the explosion at the end. Pineapple is a lot more useful and easy to sort of put on things. Mangoes. Mangoes are worth the effort, but there's so much effort. I really like lychees, but they have a poor effort to meat ratio. 